to this morning's message while you're standing getting ready to turn your Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 while you're standing turning your Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 let's also welcome all of our cyberspace members all of those who on a regularly faithfully basis tune in to watch the broadcast of the Greenhouse International Church via all kind of social outlets. Let's give God praise for them and let's encourage them to come inside the house every now and then. Amen. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 while you're standing. We're in the conclusion of this month's series Seek Freedom. Seek Freedom. So I say seek freedom. Seek, seek freedom. freedom. We're in the conclusion of this powerful teaching series. And I told you from week one, it will be more teaching than preaching. And I'm going to close out with more teaching than preaching. But I'm going to allow the word of God to set us free. So he set us free. Set us free. In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33, he remains standing for the duration of God's word. And then we would download what God has deposited in us. The Bible says in Matthew, chapter Chapter 6, verse 33, just in case this is your first time in church and you have no idea how to find Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, it's on the screen behind me also, but I encourage you to get in God's word. The Bible says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well we're going to break this down in just a second you can take your seats seek freedom this word seek means to attempt a desire to obtain or achieve something seek means to ask for something seek means to aggressively search for something here at the greenhouse this year of 2019 our theme is go for it with seek something. We must go after God's kingdom. We can't get caught with going after anything else and make that a priority over God's kingdom. And unfortunately, too many of us have gotten twisted and we're seeking something more aggressively than we're seeking God's kingdom. So when we actually get what we're seeking, we realize it wasn't what we needed in the first place. So then we enter into depression and frustration because we've been seeking the wrong stuff. Yes, but this month we've been seeking freedom. Freedom. This month we've been seeking freedom. And freedom is the state of not being in prison or enslaved. Freedom is not just about being incarcerated. You can be walking around and still be enslaved. You can be walking around and still be in prison. The prison may be in your mind. And some theologians say the biggest prison is not a jail cell. The biggest prison is a prison in your mind. Because mm. if you don't think you're free, no matter how free you are, you won't operate as a free man or woman. Today I'm going to drop some side effects of freedom. This term side effects simply means, in the Urban Dictionary, side effects is defined as when something shows up that was not invited to the party. A side effect. You, you know, whenever you take medicine, it gives you the side effects. That's not why you're taking the pill. That's not why you're taking the shot. But some side effects just happen to tag along with the medication. Well, when you get to a place of freedom, or when you're seeking freedom, there are some side effects that will show up in your life. Now normally when we think of side effects, we think about something negative or something bad, but this morning I'm going to drop some side effects that have a positive influence on your life. When you get to a place, a position of really being free, there will be some side effects that come with being free. So I say, preach, I can't wait to hear the side effects. Because every side effect I've ever experienced has been a negative side effect. But I thank God this morning I'm going to be introduced to some positive side effects because I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of being mad. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of being frustrated. I'm tired of going in and out of situations. I'm tired of all this drama. So if you got some positive side effects, I can't wait to receive them. Oh, 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 yesterday. When they introduced me to come up and say a few words, um, when they were introducing me, I had to look around and like, who that cat they talking about? I mean, they were saying all this stuff, and I, I said, well, who, who am I really? If I had to do a self-analysis, who am I really? Who, 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 who am I really? Who, who am I? I would say that I'm a freedom fighter. 
I'm a freedom fighter because my ultimate job is to take people that are in prison, spiritually, mentally, financially, emotionally, socially, sexually, whatever your prison is, my job is to take you from your prison state and to present the gospel, which is God's word to you, that you will be set free. So, so I'm not really concerned about all those labels and acolytes and, and thank God for them all, but none of that moves me. What really moves me is that you can say he's a freedom fighter. He will fight for you to be set free. He will fight for you to come out of bondage. He will fight for you to come out of the prison of your thoughts, the prison of your past. I thank God that I know who I I am and I'm a prison releaser. I'm a freedom fighter. Jesus said, I have come to set the captives free. But watch this. There's a price to be paid to be free. You can't just walk around free without paying the price. And we must be willing to continue to pay this price to stay free. See, the devil will allow you to glimpse at freedom and then snatch it back from you. So you'll be frustrated, irritated. See, freedom, watch this, you're taking notes. Freedom enables us the ability to seek the bag. But if we're not connected with God, we end up slaves chasing the bag. Okay, okay, watch, watch, watch this, watch this, watch this. See, y'all yeah, so holy, let me break it down. The, the, the bag is your goals. The bag is your dinero. The bag is your career, your education. The, the bag represents the advancement of your career. The, the bag represents, for Michelle B, the bag represents a seat at the city council table. The bag is that thing you're seeking, that thing you're chasing. The, the, the bag, the bag, the bag for the headspace represents a new ministry that will flourish in the kingdom of God and do great things for God. The bag, the, the bag, the bag to a college student represents the degree that I'm going to acquire and obtain. The bag to the young couple that's dated is a wedding ring, a wedding band, and a great marriage. The bag, the bag, the bag is that thing you're seeking for. But if you're seeking the bag without being connected to the kingdom of God, you become a bag chaser and you become enslaved to the bag. And now you will have no moral compass and you will do whatever it takes to get the bag. And when you get the bag, you'll realize the bag is empty. And the church has made a mistake of, 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 of putting the bag out in front of you without loading it up with the words. What is your bag filled with? And these, and I, I wish I could tell you that I was born enough to have made this phrase myself, but I got it. I stole it from, from my Angelo. But it, she says, in these not yet United States. In these not yet United States, we, we have become slaves to the Kingdom. When Jesus came declaring, seek my kingdom. I hear you, sir. But, but we're so wrapped up now into the kingdom, these things, these material things. I, I promise you, when you peel back the layers, most of the, the few that do for murder victims because somebody got caught up in the kingdom and not the kingdom. Somebody will kill you over something. That, that's why Cain killed Abel over a thing. Because he, oh, good God Almighty, on, if we sir. can ever get this generation 